Senator Bernie Sanders in the Senate and Representative Pramila uh, Jayapal in the House of Representatives have both introduced uh, companion legislation in their respective chambers that would make Wall Street pay for free college tuition for nearly all Americans. Now I say nearly all because there is a catch to this and I'll get more to that in a moment, but this plan again by both Sanders and Jayapal would put a tax on wall street, a, a, a very modest medial tax that would pay for debt free college for most Americans. Here's what the taxes would be. It would be a 0.1%, 0.1% fee on bond trades and a 0.005% fee on derivative transactions. In addition to a 0.5% tax on stock trades. As it is right now, stock traders, derivatives, traders, bondholders, whatever it is, they can go to wall street every day, trade all these things that do have value to them. So they are essentially selling things and making purchases, but there's no tax on any of it. There is no financial transaction tax on wall street. So they get to do this willy nilly. They get to do this without having to pay any kind of fees on this as they please. And yes, this does lead to a lot of unnecessary speculation because there's no penalties for them for it. Of course, that's a tiny, tiny, tiny sliver of the transactions, but still could cut down on just a little bit of risk. And of course the benefits would be huge. The plan would call for these taxes to pay for free college tuition for four year uh, universities, as well as for historically black colleges, both private and public for families making less than $125,000 a year. And so that is the caveat. Uh, when I say it's most Americans, if your family makes more than 125,000, you don't get it. And that to me is not okay. I actually really dislike that part of the plan. I think if you're going to do this program, which they should, you have to do it for everybody. Okay. We're talking about a small percentage of wealthy people whose kids are going to get to go to college for free. And honestly, I don't have a problem with that. I truly don't. So this needs to be college free for all, not for some, not for most. There can be no means testing. And I think that part needs to be dropped. Cause when you start means testing things, let's not forget that $125,000 a year might be a lot in Florida or Alabama, but not necessarily in California or New York, not necessarily in some of these other big cities or big States. So you really can't put a cap on that and have it apply across the board because money basically means different things depending on where you are in this massive country. But overall, aside from that, I do support this plan wholeheartedly. And as Bernie Sanders said, uh, it's written into his legislation. This would allow wall street to finally start rebuilding the middle class, right? It's time for them to be the ones to pay up. You know, we have gone through bailouts. We have gone through stimulus. The American taxpayers have had to not only bail out citizens a couple times, but mostly bail out wall street. It's time for it to be the other way around. And that's what this is about. You know, we always talk or hear talk in terms of economic recovery, how good the stock market's doing. If the stock market's good, the economy must be good, even though the two truly are not related. So even though wall street is doing great, they truly are making more money than ever. Stock markets bounce back. We're not taxing them on it. And the government is therefore being starved of revenue revenue that like this plan lays out could easily go to making this country better and more equitable for those that aren't living privileged lifestyles.